Welcome to Tell Me a Story channel. Let's tell your story in a unique way. Want revenge on Nair, but how? Hi all, I'm looking on how to get appropriate revenge on my neighbor. My family has lived in the same place for close to 10 years now. I am 25, moved home to save money. Our neighbor, who we would classify as annoying and weird, is now messing with the wrong daughter. As a teenager, I would hot tub in my backyard with my friends at night, and he would have a flashlight pointed at us from his yard and watched us. Several times, he has been very vocal on how he hates every project we do on the outside of our house. He listens to our outside conversations from his ring camera. He's known in the neighborhood for being a jerk to kids for being too near his house. But this time, he's really pissed me off. We are building a stone wall along our property, the side where his house sits. He told us, if you ask him, he will say he politely asked, to stop putting up an ugly rock wall and he would graciously give us $1,500 to completely take it down and put up a new wall. Well, the $1,500 wouldn't even cover the cost of labor to take down the wall, let alone putting up a completely new one as well. Obviously, we said no and continued. A few days later, we get a novel of a text from him stating that, now that he thinks about it, the wall we are trying to build might be on his property, so he wants a surveyor to come first. This hinders us another two weeks. As of three days ago, the surveyor said not only are we well on our own property, but he even has about six, ten inches of our property on his side. We just want our wall so great, it's confirmed we're good to go. Well, last night another novel came through text. This time, he threatened to go to the city to complain. He said we were childish and he was ashamed of us, and that he was trying to resolve our issues, the issue he made up himself, by being neighborly and we should do the same. Lastly, he has a vinyl fence on the same side we're putting the wall. Essentially, this fence is currently keeping my dogs in my yard and out of his, he had this fence years before we moved in. But now he is threatening to take down his fencing in order to force us to buy and put in a fence of our own, just in spite. Before his texts were jokes, just something we can look at and laugh. But now you're directly threatening me, so it's war. Now I want to do something to him, to show him that I don't give two fucks about his requests. We don't want to go through the hassle and money to take back our portion of land he took. He has ring cameras, so I couldn't do anything physically to his home, like poop in a bag prank or jolly ranchers on the car, since he would see me. I need someone who is a genius, creative, and a little devious. Obviously, my boomer parents aren't as petty as I and are willing to ignore him. But I'm not. Edit. Thank you so much to everyone who has suggestions and advice. I truly appreciate it. I haven't been online, but I am definitely reading your comments. To those who didn't offer suggestions or advice, but instead said this was dumb or moot. You are wa a cock. As an update, my father and our neighbor had an hour-long conversation this afternoon. My dad is a very level-headed guy. He's only ever raised his voice at me once in my 25 years. He's very chill. So when he told me that our neighbor said that if we don't change our yard into what he wants, he's going to make life hell for us, I saw red. To those in my comments who said, where is the threat? Here it is. Mm. Also, we let him know that he has six, ten inches of our property on his side, and he literally said, I don't care. And yes, the fence is on his property so he can take it out if he wants. That's not our issue. The issue is he said that he won't let us know when he would do it, and he would love a reason to call the cops if my dogs came into his backyard. Plus, the only time he stated he was interested in removing the fence is when he wants us to do something, and we say no. Many have suggested that we put our own new fence on the six, ten inches he stole from us. And after the phone call today, it looks like that's going to be the next step. Again, thank you guys so much. Revenge is going to be so sweet, and I can't wait to taste. Edit 2. 
Just a quick update. He has texted us eight more paragraphs in a span of three hours. He directly said that for every request of his, we deny. He's going to take a piece of his fence off, and if we comply, he will put it back on. He also said that along with his requests, he intends on receiving a handwritten apology to him for being vindictive by building an ugly wall to spite him. He's threatened to call the city several times but hasn't, so today we did. We made sure there was nothing he can try to pin on us, and there isn't, obviously. Now it's just a matter of him trying to use his fence as leverage. Little does he know, we're currently making plans to line our property with bright orange, ugly plastic chicken wire ASAP. Hope he likes that better. That was my story to you. Enjoyed it. Subscribe for more.